is it going folks we are back it's the end of 2019 it's nearly christmas and we're back with the latest setup video so what i'm rocking with these days where i am when i'm streaming making my videos where all the magic happens and that is this place right here so first of all i used to be rocking maybe on one of my previous setup videos i used to be rocking two studio lights size space is a big one for me so at the minute we're rocking one but it does make a big difference if you look the difference that makes. I mean, I've already got my lights on in here. Big difference. Anyway, we'll leave it on for now. Right, so we've just come through the kitchen door. Behind me is the kitchen door. If you don't, if you're new around here, this is an office. It's been converted. That there goes through to the garage. Uh, and behind me goes into the into the kitchen. So let's talk about peripherals, what I've got running, what what we what we're doing around here. Uh straight away. There's one of my old wheels. That was the Shout out to Fluky who gave me that wheel, and that is their Flushmaster TMX, and it is my second wheel I'd ever had. Good wheels. It's a bow and gear driven wheel. It's a nice wheel. I do recommend it. But you have to buy a, a shifter separately, and uh, some TH three PA pedals, or some yeah. It doesn't come with a clutch with the pedals. It's just braking accelerator. But it's a really good wheel. Anyhow, down to the rig straight away. This here. Forget the cables, boys. When you've got that much on the go as, as you have, as I have, you're gonna have cables. It's just one of them things. As long as they're not bloody here, there, I, I need them. I spun the rig. The rig used to be facing the other way around, but I wanted to use this wall as a black wall because it just looks great on the camera, camera behind, which we'll get to, and it looks great on the uh, GoPro. Anyhow, so this is what I was saying here. This keyboard with the two iPads on top, I put on this tray to get the camera on the on the steering wheel. So when we're farming, and you see the the camera that's pointed at the steering wheel and the handbrake, that's where it goes. It goes on the end of that, and th that weighs it down so it doesn't drop. And I use this camera here, which fell on last night's stream. I still need to cable tie it back up, but it's sitting on a bloody Yeti stand. And that is a C3, Logitech C310, off the top of my head. Might be wrong. I'll try and put everything in the description for one of the previous videos. Okay. So then the headset I use is the Razer, I was going to say yeah, the Razer Nari, and they're great. I've had them for about a year now. I think I got them last Christmas. I do highly recommend them. Love them. I like that. What's the word? It's, it's got a kind of raspberry, kind of robot-y kind of sound to it, which I actually like. If, if you know what I mean, compared to a scruff pair down there, the Corsair, which is a lot clearer. But I like the effect that the, the Razer Nari give, the, the sound it gives off. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our sensors up there. So yes, we're rock rocking an Oculus Rift. If I just come out of the way. So this Oculus was my dad's. I'm fortunate to have a, a dad that does a lot of gaming and has done for, yeah, for 30 plus years. He's a big flight simulator. So I get his old stuff because he always upgrades to the best of the best. So any of his cast offs, yep. Send it, Ribso says way. So this is the Oculus Rift. I don't know what version, it's just Oculus Rift. And I'll tell you what, he used it every day for years. I've used it. Quite quite often in the last couple of weeks, and yeah, it's it's spot on. Great, great stuff. Highly recommend virtual reality, ETS two, ATS, project cars. Loving it, loving it. So loads more of that to come, indeed. So we'll stick with the rig for now. So there's the specs of my rig. It's the R seven seven hundred K CPU at four point, but it, I'm I'm led to believe it's and it's thirty two gig. It's it's overclocked to four point five gigahertz. Uh, the graphics card is the Zotac 11 gig NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, which a dream, a dream. So yeah, happy days. There's a bit of, bit of specs I already had open for you. So we're on the three screens. We're on the three screens, which is, they are Samsung 4K screens. They cost like 400 quid each. It was expensive as balls back in the day. I don't know whether I'll go that expensive again with a screen, but we did. And they, they are top screens. And the camera behind me that records all my truck in, C920, Picks them up lovely. So you need decent screens and you need a decent studio light. Amen. Right, looking down, we have the spot. This is actually a T300 base. It was a Thrustmaster T300. And obviously you can change the rim. That's just a Sparco uh, rim I got off. I think off eBay for like 100 odd quid. But like I say, you can change the rims. There's me other couple of spares. It comes when you buy, when I bought this Thrustmaster T300, it came with the Ferrari Alcantara, which is that one. And this is just another 60 quid cheaper one I got. I can just bash around, so any time I can swap them around. But what this one's a lot bigger than them rims, and I use this for a, a lot more than them. They feel dead small. Although I was used to it, and that, that wheel is really nice, and I like to keep it nice. But at the minute, 
I choose to use the big Sparco trucking wheel and it's had loads of wear already, but yeah, that's where it's at for me. Get your rims, etc. on eBay and Amazon, you know me. Okay, the little bu bu little little button box down here with my own little hack on it is uh, a Br Brian Davidson button box. He's, he's, you will find him on Facebook. I'll try and get him linked down below. If I, if I forget to put him in the description, if somebody else could link him, he only deals on Facebook, so that's how you'd get a hold of him. And he can make you anything you require, whether you wanted 150 bloody buttons and they have to be green and yellow um, with a microphone on the side. He could do it. So he's the man that the 90% of the people in the ETS2 community etc we'll use this guy and not only does he do button box like I say he'll do you like he does shifters gear shifters talking about gear shifters that is the th88 and i can highly 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 recommend a thrustmaster th8a shifter because they are i swear to gosh they are amazing that's a calendar scott just did for christmas indeed some packers behind some rib pack generals you can't see because of the light Kate and the boys at Donington, Escort Cosy gives me favour ever. All these little models just have, have a meaning, got them from holidays or this, that, and the other. A load of peripherals we'll go to in a sec. So we've covered the PC specs, we've covered the screens. The PC was a, was a pass down from my dad as well, luckily enough. I'll talk about my old PC, which is here. Uh, but I've told you the spec of that one. It's the i7 7700 with a 1080 Ti, 4.5 gigahertz, um, 32 gigabyte, etc. Okay, the actual rig itself, let's talk about the rig. The actual rig. I wanted to do a rig review, a year rig review, because I've had this rig now for over a year. It's a GT Omega Pro cockpit, and by gosh, seriously, guys, and you guys that aren't, that are, you guys that are regulars know I use this all the time, every day, if not every day. It's had a lot of abuse for this past year, and I tell you guys, it is still amazing. Indeed. I have got the extra keyboard tray that you can get, and an extra gear mount, which I put my button box on. But all in all, it is a GT Omega Pro cockpit uh, rig. However, the triple monitor stand, I didn't get a GT Omega because they only support 27 inch. I got a Simlab because my screen's a 32 inch Samsung 4Ks. Lovely jubbly. My seat is an RS9 seat. Comfy as, I've done multiple 24 hour streams in it. Comfy as, no issues at all. The only thing which I've just noticed, I mean, the, the rig itself, don't go buying the Simlab rig boys and buying it then you need to buy a chair on the top of that no gt omega for the price for everything i've had the, i've abused this rig for over a year not one issue okay so hear it from the, the horse's mouth yeah save your money okay i think we're pretty much covered over here and that's just an old laptop i use just to read the chat when i'm in the trip screen on the aura truck for example i need something to read the chat and instead of looking up i look to the side happy days Okay, so let's move over. Like I say, size, space is my, my only problem over in this little office, but it is what it is. It's, it's good enough. Okay, so we'll go down here, peripheral rise. Well, well, we'll just, that's like I say, that was my a, a cheap spare rim to go onto the T300. That's the Ferrari Alcantara that it comes with, which is a very nice wheel, but now I'm used to such a big Sparco wheel that I use for trucking. It's hard to go back to a dead small wheel. Indeed, it'll be good for racing, though. Uh, there's an hour more. Almore SKRS shifter, indeed. I just got did a giveaway with my old Brian Davidson, which Liam did confirm that he has received. Post in the group, Liam, pictures. Okay, then like I say, they're just me, my little models we've got from holidays and stuff like that. Now this over here is my first setup. This is my old PC, which now gets resi resides in that corner, because like I say, it's space. Space is the thing. So there's the rig, and just behind me, I've got my old PC, which my little boy uses, or I use to do some like Devin on GTA 5, or just to answer messages, stuff like that. This is the i7 6800K, the 980Ti, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 4.5 gigabytes overclock. It was a sweet PC, never had an issue with it. So yeah, that just sits there. And uh, I just, I might a little chill on this one, to be fair. Look over the Facebook, look over the groups, you know it. There's me GoPro, it's the Hero 7 Black. Show us the seven, not the eight. Yeah, it's big seven on the side, gives it away. That's what we use to do our POV GoPro streams. So obviously, that's where we stream. Happy days now. That is the rig, that is the room. My name has been Bubba J. My name has been Mark McDirty. My name has been Frank McDirty. My name has been Thought 20. My name has been Rib. Yeah. That is where the magic happens, boys. Any questions, feel free to ask down below. I will not answer them. <laughs> Now, I've answered that. Ask any questions down below. Hope you all have a fabulous Christmas.
and a new year. Hope to see you on the uh, streams. If you don't already, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.